Hello, my name is Matt Ort, and I will be your keynote speaker on April 23rd at the EHRC Symposium in Virginia. I wanted to do uh, just a brief video to share a little bit about my background and what you can expect to hear from me. Uh, my background, I think, is unique in the healthcare improvement space in that I actually worked for employers uh, for just short of 25 years. I'm originally a farm boy from Iowa and have traveled around uh, the nation a little bit in my career. Uh, but I found myself in Wisconsin the last 17 years. And uh, if you can't tell, by the way, from my, the way my room is decorated, I am an avid reader and, and uh, passionate about American history, especially uh, the Revolutionary War and the Civil War. So I'm certainly looking forward to coming to Virginia. And if there's any time, I'm hoping to be able to see maybe a few sites. I've been many places, but I haven't been to Virginia before. So looking forward to that. But my background, uh, as I mentioned, was, um, was an HR career. And so, uh, interestingly, the first two-thirds, I was very passionate about HR, uh, but areas more focused on staffing and culture development and leadership and great place to work kind of stuff. And I had the privilege to work for some really great companies like Toyota Motor Manufacturing in Kentucky and their flagship plant in Georgetown, and uh, also Badger Mining, which uh, we were the number one great place to work in the nation. So some really cool experiences, but my career took a turn uh, for uh, the good and uh, the unexpected in 2016. I took a role as the VP of HR for a company called Merrill Steel in central Wisconsin near Wausau. And almost immediately, the owners approached me and said, you know, we've been absorbing, like many companies, we've been absorbing our healthcare costs increases and we're not passing it on to employees, but we can't continue to do that. It's getting too expensive uh, is there anything that we can do? And so uh, certainly being a passionate problem solver and of learning the root cause analysis at Toyota, uh, we dug right in, we had the support, and we began reconstructing our self-funded plan. We were already self-funded, uh, but we needed a medical strategy. So we, we didn't need to change the way we funded our plan, but we needed a way to shop for value in healthcare. And so we constructed the plan from the bottom up, and a couple of years in, I actually had a, a kind of a tragic accident uh, that I probably shouldn't be talking to you right now, uh, but I was run over by a 4,000 pound tractor that rolled into the Wisconsin River. That's a, another story for another day, but that uh, having some kind of not so great experiences through ER and not so great billing experiences, I got to experience firsthand how broken our healthcare system is. So we that especially impassioned me to to find solutions and to find alternatives to the kind of the one lane roads that we have today. So if you fast forward after we had built that plan, changed all of our partners, <clears throat> uh, had saved over $5 million in the trajectory we were on, we also increased accessibility and quality of care, notably. And so that got noticed and um, that uh, led to uh, starting a healthcare best practice group, which is now over 3,300 people. I'm leading a movement in Wisconsin, which is really gaining a lot of traction. It also led to a lot of awards that came in and so forth. And so then I uh, had uh, decided I uh, found a, a co-founder and we, uh, a business partner, and we decided that we, we could take this plan design and we could help companies across the nation do that, uh, do the same. So we did that. So we've co-founded Self Fund Health and that's where I'm where I'm at today. And then also had, uh, because of such a lack of educational material on this topic of how employers can actually uh, fix their health care uh, in a way that's sustainable and gets better with time. I wrote a book. It came out in July of 23, and that has uh, really led to some amazing connections and lots of speaking opportunities, really, that I think the employers and advisors and many others and are really hungry for this good news of how can we do this and how can we do this in a way that sustains and um, is, is a way for employees and their families to get good health care again and not lose what they had even. Uh, so... Uh, lots of detail there, so we can get into that later. But just I uh, wanted to share my story, and today, today I'm speaking all over. So in April, I'm in uh, Oklahoma City and Virginia at the end of the month, but really all over the nation: Atlanta, Wichita, Orlando, Quincy, Quincy, Illinois, uh, Dallas, Texas, uh, Des Moines, Iowa, Milwaukee, Las Vegas, Denver. So uh, I'm really excited to share with you. Um, uh, in late April, um, my experience and all the things I've learned and, all, and some of the things you've, you've done as well. So I look forward to that and I will see you in Virginia on April 23rd.